This is 60 Second Civics from the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. One of the legacies of the Greek and Roman democracies is that citizens should have an economic stake in the community in order to exercise the franchise intelligently. Greeks and Romans believed that property owners were more inclined than others to participate in politics and to act in the public interest because they had a stake in living in a healthy community. The colonists shared that view. In most American colonies, voting was a privilege limited to Protestant men who owned property. Property qualifications usually were low and land was cheap, which meant that thousands of colonists who would not have been able to vote in Europe were able to do so in America. For example, Virginia required only 25 acres of settled land or 100 acres of unsettled land for enfranchisement. New York allowed otherwise qualified men to vote if they held lifetime leases but did not own the land outright. By European standards in the 18th century, the franchise in America was generous and far exceeded the scope of the voting franchise in Great Britain. Yet whole classes of Americans, women, Native Americans, religious minorities, slaves, and indentured servants were still excluded from voting. Thank you for listening to today's episode, 60 Second Civics, where civic education only takes a minute. 